Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast that's way too fast. I am Tails the Fox, your host, with my buddy Sonic. Uh, hi, everybody. And our special guest, Mario. It's the super, um... What is your full name? Oh, it's, uh, it's a Jumpman Mario. Man Mario. Jumpman Mario. Oh, okay. And our, we have our guest... Mario! Jumpman Mario! Now, Mario, you're here because you believe that the universe has always been there and was never created. So you would like to be, you would like to prove it. Well, I'm sure me and everyone else, including Sonic, is waiting to hear your idea on the matters. So you have the floor. Alright. Well... Hi there, you snazzy, jazzy people. Welcome back to Uh Oh Stinky. Now tell me, has this ever happened to you? <laughs> oh no, whatever are you gonna do? Oh, I'm shaking in my little leather boots. Oh. <laughs> but don't panic, oh, cause we have the thing for you. You do? Yes, just follow these simple steps. Oh, let's go right now! First thing you need to do is open a computer. Then you need to open a document. And then you have to type to Jeffrey Bezos about how you need to clean the dish you just destroyed by accident. And then you need to hit enter on that bad boy so he actually, you know, gets the message. Then you have to wait for the mailman to arrive. Uh, and waiting for your mail to come into the mail so that the mail gets to the mail, which is mailed by the man, mail, mail, man, man, mail, mail, man, man, mail. As you contemplate life. And then once you hear the doorknob, you gotta go to the door. Everyone, quick, go to the door. Go to the door. And find your package in the corner. Ho ho ho. Then you gotta open your Jeff Bezos message if you can. And find your scrub daddy. Okay. What is this commercial going for? Oh, okay. You pick up your scrub daddy and come inside with me. <laughs> then you need to take your scrub daddy and do a little, a little dab. See? You just gave him a nice fresh beard. But now you need to throw away your scrub daddy and just turn on the water like a normal person and get it all gone. And ta-da! Now wasn't that just easy? Oh my gosh, thank you, Jeffrey Bezos! I was able to clean my dish! Thank you, everybody, and have a good- Wait a minute! I'm not finished with you, Shrek! Oh. This is my show, Shrek, not yours! I'm burning this place to the ground! Run, Shrek, run! Oh, I'm alright, I'm alright, okay. Well, I believe that the world is not made. It is continuing to be made by one single, like, force. For rather than it, it being, like, simple, just energy and not a person slash god or whatever you think. Like, like, like figure. Like, okay, I'm, I'm done. She's chill. It's just my opinion. You guys are all annoying. Blah, blah, blah. Well, that was, um, interesting. To say the least. But let me tell what, let me tell you why your opinion is wrong. Alright. Let's talk about the cosmological argument. The cosmological argument is natural theology is an argument that states that God's existence can be supported by facts concerning the creation of the universe as well as the changes occurring in it. It is used as an argument for universal causation, and aims after demonstrating that the universe has a beginning to prove the existence of a first cause sub subsequently deemed to be God. First point. Whatever begins to exist has a cause of its existence. Point two. Point. The universe began to exist. And then point three. Therefore, the universe has a cause of its existence. For this demonstration to be accurate, the second point affirming that the universe had a beginning must be proved. Some 
eminent theologians, whatever their word name was called, have demonstrated that actual infinity is impossible, hence the universe must have a beginning. It has also been calculated with advanced trigonometry that with time, stars progressively get farther apart from one another, which proves that the universe is expanding consequently. Now, I'm gonna get back to my stage. whoop de doo Ugh, okay. So, is it making sense more now, Mario? Well, it is making a little more sense. But I think I, uh, got the message. Okay, um, well, that's all of our time today. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the podcast. That was way too fast. Hope you can catch us next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, cop our merch. Check out our Discord in the description. Um, I will see you next time. Come on, Mario. Let's go get some iced coffee. Wait, I didn't do anything!